Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. Yes, it's 2022, and I'm not doing a best of 2021 or 2022 predictions. Instead, I want to share some observations that may have an impact on our hobby and put forth an action plan with you, the community, that I value being a part of. I'm sure you have heard the words chip shortage and supply chain issues recently. Here's a couple of headlines from this week alone. Chip manufacturing equipment vendor ASML reports fire at Berlin factory. And China locks down city containing one of the world's busiest ports. Could impact supply chain. We are in a global economy and it takes years to expand chip manufacturing whether you're building new or expanding existing plants. But if ASML can't sell you the photolithography system you need to turn silicon into integrated circuits, well, one can only imagine the impact. Of course, due to restrictions meant to address circumstances out of our control, if someone can't ship you something, you can't receive it. And these situations could occur at each level of the supply chain, where the absence of some raw material or some small component might prevent the manufacturer of larger, more complex parts. Another thing to consider at this time of year is the Spring Festival in China. The official holiday runs between February 11th through the 17th. This notice on the Lily Go store page on AliExpress states they're off from January 27th through February 9th. With that said, let's take a look at some of the manufacturers whose products are frequently featured on the Shotoku Tech channel. We'll go in alphabetical order. Arduino. The typical Arduino boards you may be accustomed to appear to be generally available. Uno, Mega, Do, Leonardo, and more are all available. There are two boards that I purchased last year based on advance notice in the Arduino newsletter. They're out of stock at the moment. Now, I'm hoping the Uno Mini Limited Edition stays that way because it's a collectible. But the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect is a really great board that I hope everyone can get their hands on soon. You can sign up to get notified of availability. Next is LilyGo. LilyGo does not seem to have any empty spots on the shelves. I find it best to shop the LilyGo official store on AliExpress. The prices tend to be higher for LilyGo products from other vendors on the site. Now it is interesting that LilyGo has started creating boards that do not include the onboard USB to serial interface. You need this additional TU to T USB to serial dongle for these projects. Now I have to wonder if this isn't a response to some shortage to keep the price of the boards lower or simplify their production. M5 Stack is next. M5 Stack has a constant flow of new products every week. Many of them are very exciting for those of us in the hobby. But looking on their website, many of their controllers are currently out of stock. Yeah, they have the new Atom U development kit, which looks pretty cool. But I think I can cobble something together similarly from my large collection of M5 stack controllers and modules. Other than that, they have the M5 Stamp 3, M5 Stamp Pico, Atom Light, Atom Matrix, and the M5 Stack Tough. These are available. And again, this year, the M5 Paper is out of stock, much like last year. Though I have seen them announce a translucent version of the M5 paper on Twitter. Digikey.com may have some M5 stack products in stock as well, so you might want to look there if you're looking for M5 stack. Next is Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi made a big move last year with a new RaspberryPi.com website. The RaspberryPi.org website now focuses primarily on education and community involvement. The RaspberryPi.com website focuses on hardware and software of the Raspberry Pi universe. But there are some bare spots on the shelves. If I look for the Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 4 compute module, most of their recommended resellers have this on back order, or in some cases, it's not available at all. It does seem if you're near a micro center, you should go there immediately if Raspberry Pi is on your tech gadget menu. At least it seems like they might be in stock there. I was shocked to see Raspberry Pi 4 compute module somewhere between $200 or $300 on some websites such as eBay or AliExpress. This is simply a no-go as far as I'm concerned. 
I did get in on the advance notice for the Raspberry Pi 02W and the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now the Raspberry Pi 02W is on back order, but there are still plenty of Raspberry Pi Picos. I just started looking at Seedwino. Seedwino is new to me, and I just ordered a couple of items from them recently. I'm looking forward to demonstrating the MakerPi RP2040 and the Seed XIAO RP2040. But when I filter on their branded items, it seems like there's quite a few of them that are out of stock. But just now, at this moment, I have an email from them indicating they have Raspberry Pi 4 compute modules in stock. The price of this Raspberry Pi 4 compute module with Wi-Fi, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabytes of eMMC storage at $90 does not seem unreasonable. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I'll let you know how it goes. Now let's talk about this action plan I'd like to share with you. Let's discuss these here in the comment section of this video. First, from my own self-reflection is sustainability. I want to focus on making the most out of the tech gadgets I already have on hand. As much as possible, yeah, you know me. I love buying the next new thing, even when it is only marginally different than the previous version. But when I look at the parts bin, I see so much potential, so much fun experimentation I have yet to do. I have many items I haven't even touched. I want to be able to inform you about new items when they are truly novel, more capable, or more user-friendly. I look forward to your questions and comments, especially where it's about something we both already have on hand. Next is newsletters. Subscribe to newsletters from manufacturers and resellers that you have an interest in. Arduino, M5 Stack, Raspberry Pi, Adafruit, SparkFun, these are good examples. This enables you to get in on new items that you may be interested in, so that you can purchase them before the initial production run gets bought up. Leave a comment down below if you see something new of interest that you might want to see me make a video about. I'll have to see if it passes the sustainability test above, but if it's good, maybe I will. Social media. Follow your favorite brands on the social media of your choice. Much like newsletters, you can get advance notice for new, interesting tech gadgets. Also, you want to make sure to sign up for availability notifications for those items you absolutely must get that are out of stock or on pre-order. We saw this last year. I demonstrated the M5 stack M5 paper in several videos when it was first made available. The first production run sold out. Speaking with the CEO of M5 stack through LinkedIn messaging, he informed me the shortage of the specific e-paper display and they anticipated being back in stock by the end of March 2021. And again, all of this played out under restrictions meant to address situations out of our control and at the back end of the Spring Festival. So it took a while for the M5 stack, M5 paper to come back into stock. Feel free to share comments here if you get notified about some scarce item that returns to stock at a reasonable price. Give this video a like, and before you go on to watch more of my videos, please click on subscribe to stay tuned for more right here on the Shotoku Tech Channel. Thank you very much.